I'm feeling lucky, I'm feeling lucky. Fun. I done messed around. Hi cozy friends, how are we this week? I'm sorry the lighting is like this. I'm filming in the morning, so it's really bright and the, the lighting's a little bit off. So hey, filming before a uh, work. <laughs> a great start to the morning. How is everybody's week? I hope it's great. I hope it's lovely. I am on the last two chapters. I'm on like arguably on one of the most suspenseful chapters. So I'm not too sure why I uh, was okay leaving on this suspense driven chapter, but A Verity by Colleen Hoover. Oh, the luau. Every time I forget what I need for the luau. Every time. Maru's birthday. What am I? Friendship wise, where are we? Okay, we need some work and she's my girlfriend. I'm not paying attention to my partners right now at all. Oh, I have wine to go in the cellar. Yeah, so Maya, my roommate best friend, Maya and I, oopsies, I meant to do the opposite. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. We started reading it together. It's like a mini book club because um, I we share an Audible account and it was free on Audible, I think, until like the end of the month. So it took us like maybe just a day to get through. A day, max like two. You could definitely get through it in a day. We had it on like 1.4 speed, but it's wild. If you haven't read Colleen Hoover books, we definitely had like very mixed feelings about it. I was giving her the benefit of the doubt. Let me put it that way. Let me give some background. If you don't know who Colleen Hoover is, she's like one of the like biggest sellers right now. Like one of the best sellers, selling authors of, she does like romance books. There's a romance like thread throughout her books, but some like this one's kind of more of like a like thriller or mystery type. She got huge because like book talk uh, that's basically it, just because I like TikTok, you know, TikTok's influence. She got huge. Everybody just talks about her books and everybody, like, everyone buys them, tries them out. Recently, I, I just, like, wasn't that interested because I, like, didn't have the mental space to read, as y'all know. Yeah, I, I just wasn't in the, like, mental space to read for a while. So that just was not my... I would see Colleen Hoover all over TikTok for the past, like, year. And I was just like, okay, means nothing to me. I'm not going to read. But now I've been wanting to read more. And so I've been just, like, saving things. And then I've seen recently um, just, like, kind of people critiquing. Because, of course, the pendulum of, you know, moral opinion, public opinion, whatever, always swings. But people mainly like women of color were like i don't know about this i this is giving i don't know um like not really like i don't i don't think they're saying like she's the writing's problematic it's just like her perspective is a very specific perspective a very specific worldview a very specific like set of morals and i thought when i i was giving her the benefit of the doubt i thought that she was kind of like you know making commentary on it on that perspective and i was like oh she gets it and then uh towards the end of the book i was like oh no okay she just this is just i don't know she's probably like a midwest w woman who you know hasn't grown much in her perspective of things like i don't know for example like there was a lot of fat phobia in it and weird not sex positive perspectives and stuff so that was interesting but however it was a great book engaging it, it is i haven't I have one more chapter left, but it's a great book. And if you're just into drama, if you're like, I don't care about all that, Kennedy, like whatever, I can look past that, which I can, I can look past it. It's fine. I'm used to reading media that reading and consuming media that does not directly align with my views as most of us are, but it is good. It's solid. It's spicy. Not in like a, I actually thought the like smut part of it wasn't well written. Listen, I was, I read fan fiction in high school. Okay. I was a fan fiction girly. The, the level, the quality of smut that I read in my life, it's high. My standards are high at this point. So I didn't really think hers was that great, but that's that. But I do recommend it is my point. Yeah. So I do, I, rec I recommend it just for the plot. Just for the, the twists, the turns, the, it's interesting, it's engaging. And if you need to get out of, I just saw a TikTok that's like, when you read like plotless smut and the TikTok sounds like a win is a win, a win is a win. And that, you know what, if I have to read for the plot, for the, the twists and turns plot, 
in a package that I don't quite vibe with, don't quite mesh with, but it still engages me and, and makes me finish a book. A win is a win. A win is a win. Simply put, okay? I'm probably going to read her other books too. I'm probably going to read them all and I'll, I'll have a lot to say. I'm going to be critical of them, but I'm going to enjoy the experience nonetheless because I also enjoy being critical of things. Maggie and I were just like sitting here and I just, which is my favorite as somebody who is needs my personal space in life. Maggie and I were just like in our separate rooms, like they're across from each other, but like we had our doors open. We were both doing things. Maya was coloring in their coloring book and I was playing Sims and we were listening to the book at the exact same time. <laughs> and then we'd pause it and be like, oh my God. Or pause it and like critique the like problematic thing she just said. <laughs> but it's great. Highly recommend starting a little book club, mini book club with your friends. Hi, Azula. Also, if you are a Colleen Hoover fan, I want to hear about it. I want to hear the why, the how, the, the what you've read, the what was your favorite. And if you haven't heard of Colleen Hoover, what are you doing? Living on a rock, friend? That's okay if you are. But you should try it out. You should try it out. So at least we can, you know, chat about it together here. We can be the book club. Start with Verity because it's free on Audible. Also, I think they just came out with a like extended version, like a special edition ex extended version. I might, I might just go to like Barnes and Nobles and just sit there and read it because I don't, I will not be paying for that book again. It's not a reread book for sure at all. You know what I just thought of? The concept of like, I know there has to be book influencers right but like do book influencers get sponsored and do collaborations with like book like books like publishing houses and they're like hey can you promote this book does that happen does anyone know any book book influencers that would be very cool because i follow a couple of book influencers but i don't think i've ever seen them do like they might do like book of the month or something but i've never noticed them doing like a collab for like an actual book release they should they should do that if they don't i'm sure they do <laughs> i'm sure they do I had a, a meeting <laughs> in the middle of that. I don't know if I finished my thought, but I think I did. Okay. Pooh, come on. Let's go. Pooh, what are we going to do today, Pooh? I think, ugh, I think I need to go to Ginger Island. I think I need to go fight in the volcano. I really don't want to, but I think I have to. Should I enchant my sword with the prismatic shard? Oh, I feel like I should. I feel like I should. I feel like I should. Okay, I'm gonna bring some food. Combat, 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 combat. Okay, <laughs> just doing random, random things. Random dishes. Here I go. I just, I need the bat. I need the bat carcass bones. And I need to level up in combat. And I feel like my best bet, I feel like my best bet is there. I don't wanna, I really don't wanna, but I must. Come on, Willie, let's head on out. Let's go. I wonder how many thousands I've spent going to Ginger Island. I painted my nails like fall colors. Pretty cute. I did it yesterday while I was listening to Verity. <laughs> See? Oh. Oh. Good Shane out here in a little t shirt. Could give him this. Okay, I'm just gonna go straight to the volcano. No messing around. I done messed around. I done messed around. Mm mm. Okay, I'm scared. Sword. Prismatic shard. Oh my god, I need I need cinder shards to do that? Okay. They said, what, girl? Okay, I have to leave then because I'm not bringing my prismatic shard in to here. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. It's not happening. I have nine cinder shard here. That's good to know. Now I have like no time left. Here I go. You know what? I'm not doing too bad here. I'm really not doing too bad. Oh, I hate this guy. Yes. I got you, 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 I got you. Dragon tooth. Wow. I didn't bring bombs. Oh, how could I be so stupid? Uh-oh. 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 Doing okay. I just have no bombs. Like an idiot. I'm feeling lucky though today. I'm I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling like maybe we will find a bat carcass today. Ooh, there's a ring. Oh my god, he's coming in hot. Let me put flamey. Do we need to have a talk? Let's have a talk about aggression. 
Ooh, there's a there's a chest in here though. I feel like these things don't ever quit. Like you can't ever get rid of them. They're always they're always here. I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling lucky. Please. Please. Do I have to hoe? I'll hoe. <laughs> oh, I'll hoe. If there's one thing I'll do. <laughs> I'll stop. I'm sorry. Okay, I think I need to go home now, unfortunately. So sorry. This has been so fun and so rewarding. And I really did just get everything that I needed from this this trip. I was hoping I'd get it in those those last few. <sighs> Here I go. Back home. A fruitless trip. Made in vain. It's fine. I'm used to it. It happens. <laughs> Karate kitted that fly. He's been tormenting me. I know it's the same specific fly because I rarely get flies in here. I, I, don't, I don't get flies in here. Oh my god. I'm being so dumb right now with this route home. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. But I know it's it's been the same one. It's been the same one. And I finally got him. All right. Oh man. So close. So close. But we made it. We made it for what? At what cost? At what cost? Because I didn't get anything. I didn't get the damn thing. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You know what I'm doing today? I'm gonna go straight. And I mean straight. What's this? It's a helmet? Oh, I thought it was a ring. It's a little helmet. Stop it. Look at me and my little helmet. He's so cute. I love it. Oh, I feel so mighty. I feel so mighty. Okay, the luau, the luau. How cute am I? How cute am I? I'm a little night helmet. <laughs> I love it. All right, we shall be noble for one more day. I'm gonna make it home in time for Maru's birthday to give her something. That's a goal. That's a goal. Oh, oh, okay. You wanna play? You wanna play? Come here, come here, come here. Oh, shit. Ooh. Got him. Gotcha. Sucker. <gasps> oh. The girlies are- Oh! That is so rude. That is so rude. I like can't get him. Hate. Hate. I hate these things. Does anyone like have a better way to kill them? I just like put some water on them. Give me like a water sword. I'd be happy. Be a happy gal. Oh god, there's two of them. Can I breathe now? Can I finally get to Hoenn? Oh, they're having babies over there. It's none of my concern. <gasps> Wrap it up! Wrap it up! Wrap it up! I'm done here forever! I have no reason to ever come back here ever! Wrap it up! Yeah, you heard me! We can make it back in time for Mara's birthday! Wrap it up! Oh my god. Oh my god. We did it! We did it! <sighs> Sweet victory. Now, this is a truly fascinating piece of natural history. Thank you. And would you look at that with this donation? We've got another little set piece completed. I've got a little something waiting for you behind the counter when you're ready for it. Oh, I'm ready for it. Oh, I'm ready for it. What's happening? Wow. Look how far we've come. The collection looks fantastic. And it's all thanks to you, Ken. Thank you. I know I worked so hard in those volcanoes that I didn't like. Here, as a way of saying thanks, I want to teach you something. <gasps> This device will allow you to raise ostriches back home. Just place the incubator in a barn, place an ostrich egg inside, and wait. Getting your hands on an ostrich egg is a different story, though. I'll leave that up to you. I already did it. I already did it. I already have one, Professor Snail. Thanks, though. No. Yeah, well, now the real work begins. I'll be studying these bones for years to come. Good. Farewell, Ken. Goodbye. But collect rewards. <gasps> a golden walnut. One for all that? We got one golden walnut for all that. No way. All right, well, we did it, friends. We did it. One golden walnut. <laughs> but it's the ostrich egg. It's the ostrich incubator that matters. So did we get, we got the recipe for an ostrich incubator? <gasps> there it is. Hardwood cinder shard bone fragment. Okay, we have the bone fragment. It's the cinder shard I'm worried about. And, 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 and another thing is that we need 20 to enchant the sword. So that might have to be put on the back burner. It might, but let's get the egg. Collect all the cinder shard we have. Is the egg back home? Yeah, I think I kept it back home. All right, so we have 16. Oh, we definitely have enough for the incubator. Bring this for Maru. Let's go home. Get more cinder shard. 
<gasps> oh my gosh, we have so much. We have, we for sure have enough for both. We have enough for both. Yay. Okay. So 20 and then what? 20 hardwood. What else do you need? Oh, bone fragment. Okay. We have that. Oh, we have that. We have that. We do. Yay. Okay. And then I'm pretty sure I put my ostrich egg over by the animals. I'm so excited. And then this is, is this our last, was that our last thing we need to ship? Let me do it first. Let me, before I get too excited. It was one of the last things we needed to ship for sure. <gasps> there it is. Oh my God. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm, 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 I'm terrified. Ostrich incubator. Oh, barn in a barn. Okay. Excuse me. There you go. Little ostrich. <gasps> does it tell me, does it tell you how long or do I have to look it up? It does not. It does not. It's okay. It's fine. I need to work on these as well. Yeah, let me work on, on my crafting things because I have a lot to do. A lot I can do now that I have some of these recipes. Hi, animals. I love you. I love you, little babies. I love you, little babies. You are my heart and soul, my precious little ones. Okay, so priority one is to find Maru. That is my priority for the day. Then I will do the crafting stuff. Did I put my battery away? God damn it, put my battery away. Loop. Here she is. Here you go. You're so welcome, bestie. Um, I mean girlfriend. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is actually genuinely the closest we've ever been, I think. This and and the first time in in like a full start of year that I actually Hello? Oh we got the beginning of the train. I think I don't think we ever did that. Maybe once. This is a weird one. I've never seen this one before. It's not the Jojo one. It's so long. Whee, let me hop on, let me hop on. Sometimes I wonder about Eric. Why did you do that? Why would you make me watch a train that does absolutely nothing? Just curious. What you doing back there, Linus? What you doing? Oh, what's he like? Does he like cake? Oh, he liked it. I think I abandoned Pooh. All right, so for the rest of the night, I'm gonna sort. I'm gonna sort, and I'm gonna craft any of the things I can craft. Does that sound good? I think it sounds good. I'm just gonna put all the braziers out here. Come, braziers, light the way. Light the way. I don't like the skull one. It's fun. Yes. Burn. Burn for all of the sins that we've pass down on the generation do not ask me to elaborate thanks okay so haven't made one of these great yay it's so pretty okay oh amazing huh 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 okay i don't think i prepared for that and i should have i should have because i think i needed some of those seeds in the spring whoopsies iridium band so we need solar essence oop not there, little brazier. You shall burn here with the others. Burn. You as well. Yes. Burn. This makes sense. You can't tell me it doesn't. You simply can't. Oh, I just under 50 for the solar essence. Okay. So I think I made all of these. We've, we've established that. Okay. We did all those. Oil of garlic. We did need garlic, didn't we? We did need garlic. Did I save garlic? Let's hope so. So what this is telling me is that every season I should be going through this, at least in the beginning and the end, to make sure. I can make the ring of Yoba, I think. Iron bar, I just need to make an iron bar. I got diamonds. Your girl got diamonds. Diamonds ain't the problem. So I can make that. I just need to get some sun essence or whatever the hell. Oh, I have three garlic. That doesn't sound like 10. I have three garlic and then I have five seeds. What was I on? Like, what What do I be doing if not what I'm supposed to be doing? You know what I mean? Does that make sense to you? I hope that makes sense to you because it makes sense to me. I was supposed to be getting garlic and what did I do? got five, five garlics, garlic seeds. I'm going to go to sleep. Tomorrow I'm going to go make sure that I have the flower bulbs that I need. I'm then going to... Oh, tomorrow's the luau actually. What do I bring to the luau? Don't I just have to bring like a uh, iridium cheese or something? Okay, it could be ancient fruit wine. I don't have any ready. Could be iridium or silver cheeses. Let me just see if I saved any. An iridium dino egg. I've an iridium egg. No, 
That won't do. A silver truffle? That won't do. Iridium cactus fruit wine? No. Well, let's go check on what milk I have today. And let's make that ring. Yay, ring of yoba. Okay, so basically, I just need the solar essence, which I can do tomorrow. And then I think I just need things that I don't have. Yeah, y'all, I think I literally just need like cra crafting recipes that I don't have. I need the tub of flowers, which was stupid on my part, the ring, and then oil of garlic. Are you kidding me? Oh, we killed it. Killed it. All right, hope and pray for a uh, silver quality something over here. Oh, we have gold. Gold quality goat cheese. Perfect. That's all we need, babes. All we need. I think the gold quality truffle will do too. Yeah. All right, all right. I might add the truffle because I feel like that is really what will set it off. You know what I mean? Cheese. All right, you know. But a truffle, it'll make it, that'll be the first named ingredient if we add a truffle. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Also, we gain like friendship too at the luau with everybody if we get the best response. Oh, I'm so excited. The luau has begun. Move. This is important. Wait, come here, piggy. Come here. Yay. Yeah. Okay. Take my truffle. I think I did the same thing last time. I think I added a truffle. Or maybe it was goat cheese. I forget. But those are the things I had access to. I added it. Let's start. Because they say the same things every year. <laughs> It's time once again for the potluck ceremony. I trust that you all put high quality ingredients into the pot this year. We don't want the governor to regret his visit to the valley. Well, governor, would you do us the honor of tasting the soup? Of course. I've been looking forward to this all year. Oh, oh my. That's the best soup I've ever tasted. Yay. You're right. It's delicious. Wonderful job, everyone. Now who else wants a taste? Time to head home proud of us okay tomorrow i'm getting go the ghost the ghosties i only need like what five more i think oh i didn't realize i had empty slots here let's let's check our friendships after that oh pretty good we're pretty high with maru now actually and okay <laughs> okay uh, that's gonna be it's gonna be a rough one gonna be a rough one I swear the like last thing I'm gonna have to do is raise my friendship and I'm just gonna like go to sleep, give them a gift. <laughs> go to sleep, give them a gift. Okay. Okay, so 44, so I need six for the ring. And I need to go to Ginger Island to check if I have garlic. And, oh, traveling cart. Let's check, let's, sh let's do, well, I can do solar essence at any time. <gasps> okay. You know what? It's fine. We can do the mine also at any time. The mine doesn't have opening hours. Okay, Pierre. So we're gonna go do that. <laughs> Give me my my six solar essences. God. Okay, the, the ghosts are in... Ooh, that was my ghost noise. The ghosts are in 60? Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Come here, ghosties. Okay, not a ghost <laughs> in sight. But I am going to spend my time killing these things because I need to get my combat skill to 10. Oh, ghosties. Maybe the ghosties are lower? Hmm. Not a ghost in sight. Once again, once they know that I need them, I can never find them. Oh, and a dwarf scroll. A dwarf scroll that I no longer need. I'm not really getting ghost vibes on these floors. I feel like the ghosts... Oh, oh my god. Okay. Come here, little ghostie. Come here, please. I love you. Okay, I feel like there's like one per floor. Let's do this. Let's go. Let's go to 65. I'm going to leave at two so that I have time to go to the store and the traveling cart. How's that sound? Does that sound good to everybody? Are we all on the same page here? I like a plan. <sighs> Let's go to 70 maybe. Oh, these look like maybe more ghosties. Yes, no. <sighs> ghosties, where are you? Well, that's fun. I got some coal, but I want a ghosty. <gasps> ghosty! Come here. Yay! I wish they dropped like two. They're so rare. Oh, it's two. I gotta go. Gotta go. Ghosties. Where are you? Ghost. Floors 51 through 79. Okay. Okay. So I need the two spring seeds that I totally could have gotten and I didn't. Tulip and Jazz. Maybe I just have some sitting around. I feel like I planted everything. Mm. Tulip and Jazz. Maybe the desert sells them? I doubt it. Squid. I like buying the squid. I'll get it. Oh, 
Oh, jazz seed. Wait, can I put a flower in the seed maker? If so, this traveling cart just, just saved me today. Let's test it out. Please work. <gasps> Yay. Oh my God. Y'all, I, I literally, if, if this doesn't come out as mixed seeds. Oh my God. Oh my God. The Stardew gods were in my favor today. Hello? Oh, I need wood. Because, huh? I would have had to wait a whole season. I would have had to wait a whole season. Imagine. Okay. I might still have to wait a whole season for, for this freaking garlic, but that's, that's a problem I'll own. I'll own that. Okay. So it's literally just oil of garlic and this. So, oh shit. I don't, I'm not going to make, I'm not going to make Ginger Island. I think I can just continue. I'll go to the mines. I'm not going to check on garlic. I'm going to prioritize the ring. So levels 51 to 79. Come on, ghosties. Now I, oh, yes, I just need three. I need three, I think. Oh, math works. I had 44. I need six. I have two. Now I have three. No, I need three more. What? What math was I doing? I needed six. So I have three. So now I need three more. Okay. Does solar essence come out of anything else? Let's see. Let's go to the solar essence thing. Oh, other things drop them. The squid kid drops them too. I did not know this. The haunted skull and the squid kid drops them. Okay, so if I don't see a ghost, I'm just going to bounce. Oh, yes. One of three. Oh, I only need one more. 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 Come on, ghosty. Come on, ghosty. I know you want to come out, ghosty. I'm going to check if I have any solar essence up here. Don't. Okay. Well, let's go to the haunted skull. Mines. What levels? What levels? What levels? Floors all. Oh, they're in the randomized enemies floors okay so not that let's go to squid kid squid kids on 81 oh and these these drop them too <gasps> yay oh okay excuse me thank you oh no okay i just want to get out now please thank you yeah thanks oh what's that <gasps> wait i want the bat oh the slammer 40 to 55 damage damn it's probably slow though huh Okay, let's get home. This was successful. This was a very successful playthrough. Low energy, because, you know, it's the morning, but it was successful. We got the bat. We got the ostrich incubator. We have every crafted item that I have. I know I have to find more crafted items, but we have every crafted item except the oil of garlic. Wow. Look at that. Oh, <gasps> yay. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have all these amazing rings and I probably will never even use them. So that's also fun. <laughs> all right, I shall sort the rest later. Deal with the rest later. I'm going to sleep because that was successful. Next time, we're going to see, we're going to go check on the garlic at Ginger Island. We're going to see, we're going to check on our progress with like the walnuts and the because i don't even know what walnuts we have left i thought we got them all yeah just check on overall progress so that we can see what we can work on because crafting items fun I just need to get new recipes so maybe i can look into those on the island yeah we'll just we'll see what our progress is overall we're doing well y'all we are getting through it um let's do cozy corner oh cozy nerd crossing we got some cute setup pics i love it as always thank you for sharing and then i think i saw maybe maybe oh someone tagged someone tagged cozy corner but i don't think they're a part of the community but like they have a very nice i think they tag cozy corner with a k because they're german i don't know maybe they watch the videos hey i don't think so though <laughs> they have a really nice i'm just gonna I'm gonna screenshot this account for y'all. Yeah, and they don't follow me, so probably not. But this is so it's just cozy. Okay. So cozy corner, anyways. Amazing. Thank you. Thank y'all for continuing to make this hashtag a, a cozy, amazing, cute place. And the cozy friend of the week is Magdalena Prevo. Provo? Prevo? Provo? And they said cozy games and sick times with a little screenshot of them playing My Time at Portia. And it looks so cozy with a little pumpkin candle and a little cool face. And I love it. Thank you for sharing. And thank you for tagging me. And thank you for thinking of me when you have cozy little, little gaming moments, little cozy gaming times. I love that. And I love you. I love you. Stay cozy. Cheers. Here's my huge ass cup. And it's not a Stanley mug. I got it for like $12 at Marshall's. I love you. Stay cozy. Bye. <laughs>